Okay? We're looking here at drill work. Okay? There will be a lot of different things that we look at. In this first drill right here, we're just going to work what we call jabs. And all it is, all it is for the quarterback is we're just going to get one foot in. One foot in. We're going to alternate, okay? but you're right here we're looking at the quarterback's right foot. Okay? All we want to do is jab that into the ladder. Okay, jab that into the ladder. If you look at our first quarterback going through, okay, nice and fluid. You look at his hips and his shoulders, they stay the same. Okay, he's got great hip movement. Now our second quarterback going through, feet are too wide. Feet are too wide, much slower feet. Okay, much slower feet. My third quarterback through, okay, eyes are down, eyes are down, a little very choppy with his footwork. Very choppy with his footwork. But our fourth quarterback, nice and rhythmic. What we're looking for here, the coaching points and the evaluation points, are his hips level? Okay, are his eyes up? Okay, is he fluid through the movement? Okay, fluid through the movement. Okay, a lot of the, one of the things that you can do frequently is walk around if you're coaching the drill, walk around and uh, hold up a couple fingers. You're forcing the quarterback to keep his eyes up. You're forcing the quarterback to identify something downfield and not stare at the ground. Okay, not stare at the ground. These are the things that you're looking for. And we want to just create a variety of different scenarios that the quarterback's feet might be in. And all this is, is for us is when the pocket, when you create an imperfect scenario for the quarterback, whether it be the pocket breaks down, he gets outside of the pocket, he's got to change directions. Can he get back under balance uh, and uh, get his body in a position that he might be able to throw? Here you're looking at crossover work right here done by these guys. This is when a pocket breaks down in the middle of a drop. He's got to change direction. Uh, what's he going to do? Okay, and that's all. We're just trying to create as many of these types of scenarios as possible. Okay, this is all crossover work. Crossover. Okay, again, you're looking for hips. You're looking for hips and eyes. Okay, we don't want to be too much on our toes. We want to have more cleats on the ground, but we want to be nice and smooth. The objective is not to go fast. It is to be as efficient as possible as efficient as possible. If you preach fast, okay, you're going to get very hard up and down movement with their feet. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for them to push and glide and be efficient in their motion and change direction. We talked about the edges of their feet. The edges of their feet, we should be getting nice solid cleats uh, on the inside and outside edges of our feet, depending on which direction that we're changing. Okay? That's all we're looking for. We're looking for ways to keep them balanced. Ways to keep them balanced. Eyes up, eyes up. Very good right here. Better on his part, okay? Nice and smooth right there by the fourth quarterback, okay? Same thing here, just looking to create different avenues, put their hips and their feet, okay, in different places while keeping their hips, shoulders, and eyes up and level, up and level, okay? And all we're doing right here is trying to warm their core temperature up while coaching balance, while coaching good footwork, okay? How are they changing directions off the sides of their feet? Okay, off the sides of their feet. Same thing coming back, same thing coming back. Okay, eventually right here in this next one, okay, we're gonna get to one foot, okay? We're gonna get to one foot. You're gonna work them off one foot through the ladders, okay? And again, you're looking for nice, efficient motion, okay? If you're looking at my second quarterback here, he's very up and down. We want it to be nice and smooth, nice and smooth, like this fourth kid right here, nice and smooth. Their hips and their shoulders should not compensate, okay? Not compensate. You're working to create forward movement, okay, with all the cleats in the ground as, we, as possible as we can. 